Well, good morning. Kind of a drizzly morning out there if you are getting on the roads today. You can see some of that wetness showing up on the Syntax Roof Systems camera at the clean uh, and clean right now looking at I-14. does look a little damp there this morning. Again, we had rain yesterday. The radar pretty quiet today, but remember, radar does not pick up on drizzle. Those drops are too fine for it to pick it up too small, and so you may be seeing drizzle even where it's not showing up on radar here this morning. The only thing we were tracking was a little downpour this since weekend there in parts of Hill and Navarra County and the rest of us stay pretty dry right now. There may be a little shower showing up there on uh, in Robertson County there near Calvert. 63 in Waco right now, 65 in Temple, 63 in Colleen, 50s holding on from Hamilton over towards Meridian and then down in the Brazos Valley. Temperatures hanging around in the 70s. North winds continuing at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And as we plan out your Friday, those winds will hang around but slowly shift to the east and eventually the southeast here today. I'll leave about a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain in today, but know that the majority of us will stay fairly dry. The clouds will stay steady though until they can break up a little bit in the afternoon maybe see some pockets of sunshine and if that happens that should be able to push us up close to 79 80 degrees in your neighborhood mart 80 degrees 79 in crawford today 79 Lorena and bruceville eddie down to bell county 80 in belton 80 in prairie dell today 81 in rogers and across the rest of central texas numbers hanging pretty close to the upper 70s and lower 80s. Not a bad day, even though it is still warm for this time of year. It is going to be a nice night for football. Yeah, it'll be a little damp, so you may want to take a light jacket with you. Temperatures will go down into the 70s, though. 79 at 7 o'clock, 77 at 8 o'clock, 75 at 9 o'clock. Our game of the week, red zone game of the week, Connolly at La Vega. You'll hear highlights from that and other games across Central Texas when you join Shaji and Donna tonight at 1010. Future track shows you the cloud cover the south there. Now again, we'll see some pockets of sunshine try to develop this afternoon. The clouds will build up again by morning. We may have some showers and then in the afternoon tomorrow. I do expect a few scattered thunderstorms around about a 30 to 40 percent chance of the majority of the rain will once again miss us to the north. Our next best chance for widespread rainfall will come in as we get into Monday. So there's Saturday again. The majority of that rain missing us to the north Sunday. We still have some showers, but by Monday, our next little system's coming through, and that should lead to widespread showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be strong, especially in the afternoon on Monday. That's something we're monitoring closely. When you've been warm this long, and you're staying this much above normal going into the fall, you can sometimes get little severe weather events that can happen in November. That may be one to watch there for Monday. After that, though, things do look to quiet down for Election Day. We'll be hanging around in the 70s next week. I'm Sean G. Adam reporting in your neighborhood of Waco. Baylor Ballpark has seen a lot of great players take the mound, and some of them have been able to take their talents to the pros. Well, one former Baylor Bear can also...